What's going on, Third Army? Joe here, and today I want to make sure we could go over the gate torque before I send it off to the giveaway winner. You guys didn't know, we gave away this limited edition torque with the box all done up for fall um, as part of our Black Friday promotion. So one of the lucky customers is going to find this in with their goodies they picked up on Black Friday. And in the video where we strung it up for the fall pack, I really didn't get to go into how I would string it, or the video would have been super long with all the kind of other information we had to throw in there. So I thought it'd be fun to give it this quick little video about how to string a gate torque especially because they're a little funky, but uh, if you kind of know what you're doing, it is one hell of a stick. So let's get into it. Here is the box, of course, and I figured I'd unbox it one more time because it is so dope before we send it off. It's got some crazy foam, and then inside we have the gate torque. First up, let's go over the top string. Um, this is normally designed for a 10 diamond top. Most pockets we do are a nine diamond top, so all we did was skip the outer ones and then the center one, uh, which is gonna be that center nine diamond, we shared between the two middle ones, doing one interlock in each and then doubling all the others and again, skipping the outer ones. Makes it nice and clean, keeps the mesh going all the way along the top, and then you can cheat a little bit on the channeling on the side as well uh, by kind of skipping that hole. I think it's a really cool, unique look. Um, I kind of wish they would change it up to do kind of a nine diamond where it gives you more options to do a nine and a 10 maybe uh, while making it completely symmetrical all the way across using the same knots. But um, I like how this looks and I think it's a cool update to the actual torque. When most people think of the torque, they always think of the webbing on the side. And I use this while stringing and I think it actually works out really well. So instead of doubling um, around the actual head itself, I doubled around the webbing. So you just do a normal knot going in and then when it goes to the back, you're gonna double up around the diamond on the webbing, which I really love and I think is kind of the key to stringing this whole stick. Um, and the reason for that is it allows the tension across the top to be um, tight, but not too tight. So it gives you a little bit more slack um, in the upper third of the head because the mesh isn't pulled all the way across the top. It's kind of pulled in like, you know, I guess you could say it's about a half inch on each side. And that paired with the actual bottom rail of this gives you that torque feeling um, that we'll get to in a second. Moving on to the sidewalls, I did just kind of a normal sidewall that we would do looking for a W4 nice and mid-low, but used that webbing as far as I could down the head. And then I think the key was shifting the first sidewall after the, uh, the lockdowns to be our actual uh, starting point of the pocket um, really is ideal to get a really nice channel in this stick with an absurd amount of hold. And then we locked it with knots going all the way down, just skipping one and finishing off in the bottom and then doing a 10 on the bottom there. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of the pattern and also put it in the description below so you guys can uh, replicate this and nail the stringing in your torque as well. So I've said in the past that the torque is a little bit funky looking and that's what you want because it gives you a totally different feel than most sticks out there. And uh, it's very reliable in that feeling that it gives you because the geometry is uh, pretty sound and I really enjoy it. And stringing it this way, I think gives you the best of that funky geometry. So the biggest thing is by using the webbing on the sides, the mesh isn't pulled as tight out across the top. So it's able to slack out more, giving you a more adaptive stick, which is something I absolutely love. And then really focusing that channel right down to the deepest part of the actual bottom rail, and then kind of just, you know, letting it just bag out a little bit more. It's gonna give you an insane amount of hold and a lot of feel on the ball. And the thing that makes the torque work uh, about all of this is actually the bottom rail. So it's pretty boring and kind of chunky throughout, but right here you get a pretty big kick up with not a lot of return, um, as opposed to some other sticks that do this. It almost looks like a defensive stick. And what that's gonna allow you to do is have a ton of feel when that ball releases, because it's gonna slide up in the stick and then really get thrown out because of that harder release. And if you can combine that without adding that much more whip to the actual stick itself, is where you get a ton of accuracy, a ton of power on your shot, but yet carrying the ball and passing it is a breeze. So that's what my favorite thing about the torque is. And if you can nail that, you have one hell of a stick. That's everything, guys. Enjoyed it. Please throw the video a like. Let me know what you think about the gate torque in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the field.